in remember there's lots being spoken around deep seek now deep seek on indian servers soon is what we're learning and minister ashwini vaishnav in fact has reacted briefly to the same he says we will soon host deep seek on indian servers it's an open source model like llama which is an open source this too can be hosted on indian servers data privacy issues regarding deep seek can be addressed by hosting open source models on indian servers and we believe he says that there are at least six major developers who can develop ai models in the in the next 6 uh, to 8 months on the outer limit and 4 to 6 months on a more optimistic estimate so this is a, a big comment that's come in from uh, minister ashwini vaishnav union it minister who said soon there will be deep seek on indian servers he also added that uh, uh, distillation is very important for ai models and we'll keep our models open and application focused listen in already stored on the implemented on the indian servers already our people are studying the technical reports and uh, very detail in good detailed manner they are evaluating the technical reports technical reports are available All right I want to quickly go across to Chandra joining us on the phone line now Chandra tell us you know what this means there's so much being spoken of not just in news across social media a lot of buzz around deep sea can what it means for India but how do we put this comment that's come in from the IT minister in context uh this is a very important development because in discourse and discussion on what India's move is going to be as far as this US China AI war is concerned so Ashwini Vaishnav has unveiled the next phase of the India AI mission uh, where they have confirmed that they have managed to procure over 18000 CPUs which is going to be crucial to train foundational models and the minister has said that out of these 18000 GPUs uh, 15000 will be high end GPUs and over uh, 10000 are currently available and out of the total number 12896 are Nvidia H100 and 1480 are Nvidia H200 So he's essentially said that these will be used to create AI models uh, and new algorithms. They have also said that the second big mission of the India AI mission will be to develop an AI model for which they have created the framework today. So they have called for proposals to foundational models where Indian context, Indian languages, the culture of our country uh, will be used. The biases can be removed, and where the data sets for India and Indian citizens. those will come into effect so ashwini vaishnav has also made a very bold claim that he believes that there are at least six major developers who can develop ai models in the next 6 to 8 months on the outer limit and 4 to 6 months for a more optimistic estimate he has also made an important announcement uh, with respect to china's deep seek he said that india will soon have deep seek on indian servers Now remember, DeepSeek is an open source model. He said that data privacy issues regarding China's DeepSeek can be addressed by hosting open source models on Indian servers. Further, uh, responding to a question on what Sam Altman said a couple of years ago that you know India shouldn't waste time developing foundation models, he said that the innovations happening in the world are humongous and that India will play a major role because we have great software capability and a good innovation ecosystem. He's also said that AI models will be distributed, and what will be important are the applications and how we use AI to really solve real-world problems. And that India will keep its models open and applications focused. They've also announced subsidies uh, for using GPUs for startups, researchers, academia, and he said that this subsidy will continue for the next four years. So this is really a shot in the arm of Indian AI researchers, startups. who been saying that the government should take steps to open up gpu access because this is becoming a sovereign issue uh, it it will give us a huge geopolitical advantage to have our own foundational models and we've really seen how china's deep sea has shocked silicon valley mm-hmm. so ashwini vaishnav today really laying out the next steps of the india ai mission so much so that it's uh, you know also forced a response from us president donald trump i'll come back uh, to you on that chandra stay on with us let's play out that brief reaction that came in from the union minister once again the well, llama is already sourced already stored on the implemented on the indian servers already our people are studying the technical reports and uh, very detail in good detailed 
manner they are evaluating the technical reports. Technical reports are available. Going across to Chandra once again. Chandra, you know, this just makes me ask one question. Now that India is viewing the overall situation very closely, China's deep seek most certainly has disrupted Wall Street. Can India uh, turn the AI tide in its favor? Are we, are we looking at a long-term goal or we're going to go by it, or, you know, while taking short steps in the interim? So we've already outlined an India AI mission. I think what's been announced today is a very important component there because what they've essentially done is they've, uh, you know, laid out a framework on how people can access GPUs or graphics processing units. And GPUs are a core component when you want to train foundational models. So the government has uh, opened up the GPU access portal. They've given details on how startups, academia, researchers will be able to access these GPUs, which companies have won the bids for GPUs. And they've also announced a subsidy scheme so that people working on these AI models will not have to fork out a lot of money because training AI models is also expensive. So, uh, you know, that's the crux of the announcement today. But if you look at India's approach to AI, they have always focused on the application or the use case layer. Because uh, when we spoke to Ashwini Vaishnav last week as well in Davos, he mentioned that models are getting commoditized and, you know, that will not remain a strong moat anymore. What really matters is the application that you build on top of those use case models. In fact, he said that India should aim to become the AI services hub of the world, just like it's become the IT services hub of the world. So what's essentially been announced today is a huge opportunity for academia, researchers, startup founders who've been awaiting a step from the government with respect to GPU access and pricing. We'll have to wait and see how they're able to access it. But the government and the minister are fairly confident that in the next six to eight months, we will have our own foundational models at least half a dozen, according to his estimate. Oh, indeed, is a big statement coming in from Union Minister uh, Ashwini Vaishnav. Many thanks, Chandra, for joining us with all those details. We'll keep deep diving into all of these nitty.